Fisher Technic has a huge assortment of gears for you to use in your mechanisms, such as these circular gears, these linear gears, and worms. And so you're going to use these whenever you build your mechanisms. In this video, we're going to be making a gear train. First, let me introduce you to the gears that we have right now. First, we have a pinion gear or a cogwheel. This has 10 teeth. We also have bevel gears that intersect at 90 degrees that also have 10 teeth. Next up, we have this gear wheel that has 15 teeth and also has a smaller gear wheel in the middle. Next up are these 20 teeth gears, such as these ones. And then we have our 30 teeth gear. And also our 40 teeth gear, which also has a 32 teeth gear at the bottom called a crown. There's also an inner tooth gear that has 20 that has 30 teeth on the inside so that you could do things like planetary gears on it. Uh, although I forgot to bring that. So I'll just leave a picture of it. Lastly is this turntable gear, which I actually don't know how much te how many teeth it has. Maybe 50 or 60 teeth. And so all of these interlock together very smoothly to produce those gear trains. And so what's interesting about these gears is that in order for them to actually spin on the axle, they have to be secured to the axle. For this pinion wheel, it has to be secured using a screw like this, that basically hugs the axle with it. And to demonstrate, I can take an axle right now, and this can spin freely. But if I tighten this, that's impossible. Now the axle spins with the gear. Similarly, a gear like this has a inside circle where these two fittings go onto it. These are called hubcaps, I believe, or hubs. And they go on like this. So I'm gonna take a axle, then tighten it around. And now you can see that they both spin. But if I tighten this, this is able to spin without this gear spinning. Okay. So we're going to mount these gears onto the structure. And usually we use these blocks for that, that have the hole for the axle. In addition to that, we're also going to use clips such as these ones, spring clips, in order to keep the axles in place and not let them slide back and forth. So let's take a 40 tooth gear as well as the fittings that go around it. And let's take a 20 tooth gear and also the fittings that go around it. And attach them together. Or rather build a mechanism or a framework that is able to connect them. So first off, so let's try making a structure to attach them to. Let's take two two by ones and attach it to the build plate. And then we're going to put on an axle hole. And then let's take an axle. as well as a few collars.
and let's put the axle into that hole. Yep. So with the axle in the hole, let's now mount the 40 tooth gear. Okay, and now you can see it's spinning with the axle. But the thing is, it moves back and forth. So in order to prevent that from moving back and forth, let's take a clip and put it onto the back of that axle so that we can't pull it back and forth anymore. Awesome. And now we're going to make another tower so that we can fix the 22 foot gear onto it. Okay. And let's try to line it up so that when we put the 22 foot gear on, it meshes with the other gear. Okay. Like so. And now we're going to put the collar, the spring collar on. So now that these two are meshed, if you spin one of them, the other one should spin as well. Very cool. So now here we have built a simple gear train. Let's try adding a third gear which will make one of these an idler. And so we have a few options. We can either add the third gear onto this side or onto this side. But you'll notice that if we try to make a tower for that gear, there's not a good place to put it so that this 10 tooth gear meshes up with this 30 tooth gear. And so in order to fix that, we can try making a structure that is just a bit offset to allow this pinion gear to interlock with this 20 tooth gear. Let's give it a try. And so what I'm thinking is the best idea right now is making a connection like this and slipping it onto the back onto the top of this 20 tooth gear. And then what we can do is take our gear and in order to fix it on, we need that collet hub, that collet chuck is what it's called. Fix this onto it. And let's fix it on the other way so that when we actually put it in and all the, go all the way to the end, it's actually able to mesh with it. What I mean by that is that if we put it on like this, it's not going to be able to mesh with the gear. Put the other way. And now we're going to mesh this with the last gear. So I'm just going to push this in. Okay, and now we're going to put a clip onto it. And there we go. Now we've made a gear train with three gears. So let's try seeing how well this works. So I'm going to attach a windmill piece to this. as well on the other side. And 
so let's see how fast this turns as this turns. So let's give it a try. One turn here, a quarter turn here. Another full turn, half a turn here. So if we move this now, you can see that this rotated four times as well. Nice. Alright, so today I introduced you to the gears and also built a gear train. In our next video, we're going to be working on a few more mechanisms as well as attaching our motor to our gear train.